Hey guys, it's Nat. So today I want to do a video to show you guys something super cool that I found that I think is really convenient. So first of all, I have quite a few earrings. I don't necessarily wear them all the time, like right now. But I do have, if you guys didn't know, a hole here, the regular hole, a hole here and the whole here. So three on each ear. And so sometimes I like to change up the top two, kind of mixing with different color studs and little, you know, ones that look like pearls or ones that look like, you know, little gems and stuff like that. And then I change the bottom ones to sometimes they're studs, sometimes they're dangly. So I have quite a few earrings and sometimes it can be kind of overwhelming and I really don't know where to put them. Uh, in the past, I've been putting them in little containers like this. You know, things that jewelry once came in, and you know, they're tiny, so I can fit lots of stuff in it. This right now has just some kind of bobby pins and some hair ties in it, but I did have one that had tons of earrings. The problem with this is it's just kind of everything gets all mixed up in there. Sometimes you can't find it, sometimes you accidentally drop some and lose some. And so I was at Dollar Tree and I was kind of by the checkout. I'm just like, dazing off people watching you know like I normally do sometimes and I noticed this thing and I was like hey I think I know exactly what that would be good for and so what it was was this little plastic container and it had all these little square sections in it and it said that it was an organizer for rubber bands uh, these bright little colorful rubber bands which apparently it's a thing for kids to make these bracelets out of rubber bands like they wove them together or something and so it's kind of like a bead organizing case where you color code the different color bands or something like that I was like I don't know about all that I've never even seen anybody wear those before but that is a cool little organizer so I picked one up and this is the case so it has all these little square sections most of these are the same size except for this larger one right here sorry if you can hear screaming i'm at the dorm so yeah sorry okay anyways when you open it up uh, i have them organized into kind of different little sections so we have here the longer just kind of spike type earrings over here i have the fancier ones you know that look a little bit more like I don't know, metallic-y, dangly type things. The bigger, just kind of danglier earrings, and these ones are the studs and really just kind of small dangly earrings, and you can break it off into whatever type of sections you want. Then, if that's not amazing just in that, it clicks shut. And, oh shoot, you can flip it over, you can shake it, whatever you want to do. And because it clicks, it holds it. Because you have all these little squares, you can do this and they stay in place. So that is freaking amazing if you're traveling because you can take this, throw it in the bag. Oh no, my bag got all shook up. It's okay because my earrings are divided. And they're not going to open because the case is secure because it clicks. So I just think this is a super cool thing to have to organize earrings. I actually picked up another thing that I have. Uh, let me see if I can find it for you guys real quick. My other drawer. Uh, this one is actually for crafts and sewing, but it's a bigger organizer case, and so I'm planning to use this for like bracelets and necklaces and stuff, because I spend the night a lot of the time at different places. I go back to my family's house, or sometimes I go over to my friend's house, sometimes I'll go stay with, you know, different people. And so if I need to have jewelry, whether it's a special occasion or just want to have some, this is pretty cool because otherwise I was throwing it in that box. Sometimes the box would open and then yeah, it just wasn't that efficient. So I'm very happy that I found out about this little idea. I mean, I never heard anyone doing this. I just kind of was like, that would work for it. So this one right here is a lot bigger. This other one I'm showing you, the rubber band one, it's freaking sleek and thin and compact. Kind of the size, I think, of a mini um, iPad, I think. I think. Don't quote me on it. But it also has a ruler. I don't know if you guys can see that. And you see it? Probably not. It has a little ruler on top. So if you need a ruler, because you're supposed to use it to make the bracelet, so probably to measure the string or something, I still have some of the sticky stuff on here because uh, it did have a sticker on it. But I think this is super cool so totally recommend you guys going and checking out these or I mean if you can't find them at Dollar Tree 
maybe just check like Michaels or Walmart and look at the little craft organizers because you can always use that for not, you know, maybe you don't want to organize beads, but you do have other stuff that will fit in those, then you can always use it. Use stuff for however you want to. I mean, I even do that with makeup brushes. Just because it says a blush brush doesn't mean I'm going to use it for that. I use it for the best thing that I can find to do with it. So, I hope you guys enjoy this little video of this tip that I found or made up or something. I um, hope you're all having a wonderful day. I want to show you guys something else that I think is really exciting. Uh, I finally got business cards. So not beauty business cards because I already had some of those. And those I'm probably going to make some new ones and design them. But graphic design business cards. So I'm going to have my um, senior project exhibit on December 9th. And so we need to have some type of, it's called a leave behind, just like something to leave behind so if people you know want to take it they want to contact you in some way then they have the leave behind so uh, mine are business cards but they didn't have to be you know like that and so this is mine I guess I'll cover up the number so I have my little logo my NG logo and then it says you know that I'm a graphic designer and then it has my phone number and my email and then I have this little thing. This is also in my portfolio, this kind of transparent rectangle-ish stuff. And then on the back, my logo again. So I like them. I think they're super cool. And then I also got the rounded edges, and then it's the really thick uh, cardstock. So I'm super stoked about that. I hope you guys like them too. And uh, that's it for right now. So I hope you guys are doing good, like I said. And leave any questions or comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.